my lovelies. Welcome to Starlight and Stitches. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, if you've been here before, then hi. It's really good to see you. Thank you so much for coming back. I hope you've remembered to subscribe. Uh -huh. um, if you're new here, then welcome. Uh, this is Alice Land and I am Alice. And on my channel, I talk about yarny stuff, uh, crochet, amigurumi, I do yarn hauls, I do crochet book reviews. Um, I sometimes delve into other crafts and stuff as well. Today, however, uh, I am in the middle of doing something completely different. This is part two. So this video is part two of my uh, reorganising of my Yarny space. Um, I don't have a very big house, so I have had to rearrange a few things. And um, yeah, this is part two. I'll put the link to part one down below in case you haven't watched that. Um, I've had to split it into two videos because it was going on for too long and nobody wants to watch some weird lady rearranging her yarn and stuff for 45 minutes. So I've split it into two. This is part two. Watch part one first. Good. We'll wait for you. Cool. You're back. Done. Great. So everyone's caught up. We all know where we're at. So we know that the point that we're at now, <laughs> I've just got to do my Welsh dresser. Now, I'm normally facing that way. Um, but I wanted to show you, I've pulled everything off the Welsh dresser and I've emptied all the rest of the boxes that I had. Um, and this behind me, this is what we are left with. Da -da, da -da. So I've emptied all the bags, all the boxes, um, everything is off the Welsh dresser except for the top shelf, but that is not being touched because that's got special stuff on it. So what I need to do today is get this onto there. Um, I'll flip the video around and show you. I have made more of a plan this time than I did with the first video, so I kind of know where I'm going with everything and I think it should fit. I think I've got everything worked out. So I'm going to tie my hair back, I'm going to show you the space that we've got to use and then uh, we can just go for it and hopefully the music will be a bit better this time. Yay! So yeah, join me for part two. I hope that this satisfies you and then at the end we'll have like a full reveal of what it all looks like when it is done. Brilliant. So yeah, this is everything that is left that still needs to go on the dresser. Um, I've got all of my Rito hobby yarns. Um, I decided to keep these smaller ones on the Welsh dresser instead of the big chunky things because I think they will look a lot nicer and a lot less overbearing. I've still got these and I've still got some DK yarn from Hobbycraft. I've got all my little creatures um, that live down here. I've got a pile of crochet books. I have got boxes that have got things like um, safety eyes and uh, felt and pipe cleaners and all that kind of stuff there and there. Um, and there's some random things at the back here, but I don't know if they're gonna have a home <laughs> at the end. Uh, so this is what we've got to deal with. Um, and then we've got to get it in here. So yeah, that, that should be fun. Uh, let's plug you in and um, away we go. Right, I am ready for action. The hair is up, so I'm um, not gonna get too hot and icky. I have a plan, I've actually written a plan of how I think everything is gonna go in here. So I'm gonna leave my plan here um, and I have got ideas of like colorways and how I want things to lay out. So I'm gonna get some bits prepped first then I can start getting them in. And then if this middle shelf works, then everything else should work around it. So I'm gonna get the prep work done so that you don't have to watch the boring stuff and then we can just get some nice colors in the wall. Yay, let's go. Okay, let's get going.
Okay, first shelf works. So I've got the Infinity Hearts, I've split them um, and put something different in the middle because I like a bit of symmetry. And then I've got my little sunflower and Captain Tom here. So that was the bit that I was most concerned about. I think everything else should work from here going forward and hopefully this won't take too long. So let's carry on, yay! Okay, this is going so much smoother than the first round. Making the preparations beforehand has definitely helped. Um, I've just got the last shelf to go and then I can like give you the guided tour of everything. I can't believe how quickly this is coming along. Oh, thank God for that. I'm so relieved. Right, let me just um, refer to my notes and then I will get this top shelf done. I still have that horrible drawer of stuff which I actually need to sort that out now as well because I've still got some yarn that won't fit into this wall that I'm going to have to store in those horrible plastic drawers. Eventually I'm going to get rid of them, don't know what I can replace it with, but do the plastic drawers and then I will just show you through everything and then we're done. Yes, yes! Okay this is what is left, I've pulled all those drawers out of that horrible plastic unit emptied them out um this is what we have got so these are literally all odds and ends bits and pieces um things that people have given me and then some odd balls of yarn that i have left over so i've got these two drawers already that one i'm not going to change because that is all one style um, and then this one here i've got like weird things like lots of buttons that's like some fabric tool stuff and then this is some really fine yarn that doesn't really go with anything else so i'm going to box these ones just into here, there's going to be no rhyme or reason to it. It's just however it's going to fit. And then I'm just going to put them back um, and then I don't have to look at it again. Um, I won't subject you to watching that because that won't be much fun. Okay, all done. Random boxes sorted. It's literally just scraps and like stuff that people have donated to me. So it's all kind of tidy, I guess. Um, I'll put it back in the unit and then I can forget about that until I buy something else to put it in. It's complete, hurrah! Um, 
it's still not ideal I've still got too much stuff in places I don't want it but I think it looks a lot more display fied that side and then you can see that that is my gorgeous wall of yarn down there I'm really pleased that it's done and I'm so grateful that you've come back for the second half of this video if you have um i know it's a real pain when people split things into two halves but it would have been bonkers otherwise so um that's about it i will hopefully have another video out for you later this week and hopefully it'll be a little bit more exciting if you've got any suggestions for videos by the way make sure that you comment them down below because i really do like seeing people's suggestions and the sort of things that people want to see because that's what i would like to do for you um if not i'll think of something by myself and we'll get that uploaded hope you've had a happy easter by the way i forgot to say that in the first video i think it's been easter we've had easter happy easter uh, if you celebrate easter if you don't then i hope that you've just eaten chocolate for the sake of it um I'm really tired so I'm going to go and put my feet up, grab my hooks and I'm going to make something and zone out. So I hope that you are looking after yourselves, I hope you're looking after your loved ones. Thank you so much for joining me again for another video, I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye bye!